This re 180 topic is made possible by a grant from Kellogg's Rice Krispies. Celebrating the joy of kids growing through interaction. And by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and the annual financial support of viewers like you. Now you're about to become very well acquainted with the skills the world's most deadly predators use to catch and eat their prey. And don't expect your VJ to hold back because for this woman, the more gore the better. But I promise you're still going to love her. Say hello to JW, Sister Science. The more gore, the better. Let me explain. I love nature, but it's slimy, gooey, and even gory. Hey, it's not always pretty, and that's the stuff I love. So these videos are all about predators. Big, hungry, and with hunting skills that will amaze you. The first one is about a predator that's so skilled, it's just simply a killing machine. Watch. Built to kill. The shark, one of the deadliest predators in the sea, from its teeth to its tail, the shark's body is built to be a killing machine. So run for your lives! <laughs> Just kidding, we usually don't have to worry. We're not a shark's favorite food. <laughs> It likes fattier foods like seals, lobsters, and tasty fish. And when it's shopping for its next meal, this hungry hunter is well equipped for the job. The shark is a killing machine that's been around for nearly 400 million years, with features like side fins that help it glide like the wings of a fighter jet, up to 15 rows of razor sharp teeth. And when a shark loses a tooth, it can grow another. Its body is covered with thousands of scales called body teeth, but they're not for eating. Water flows over them to help the shark speed faster through the sea. It even has an extra eyelid to protect its eyes as it lunges for the kill. Body, teeth, jaws, fins. This hunting machine is built for killing, and this lobster, or anything else the shark wants to eat, doesn't have a chance. Okay, think about it. What are the survival tools we have? Sure, we have muscles and teeth, but what about the tools we can't see? Like our big advanced brains? Well, sharks also have some pretty advanced, pretty hidden survival tools. Watch. Super Senses. Underwater, the shark is predator number one. Its powerful outer body is built for killing, but some of its strongest weapons, its senses, are hidden. The shark has a built-in, high-tech system of super strong senses, such as... The shark can hear even the slightest sound from over a mile away. It can zero in on the exact position of an unsuspecting tuna diving way off in the distance, and lunch becomes tuna casserole. Even if the prey is perfectly quiet, the shark can smell it. The shark smells as water goes through its nostrils, and its smeller works a lot better than ours. Could you follow the scent of blood across a mile of ocean? I don't think so. Okay, so what if the prey is quiet and not smelly? There's still nowhere to hide because the shark has a sensitive system of liquid-filled tubes that can feel even the teeniest vibration. If the target is breathing or its heart is beating, even hiding under the sand won't help. With its well-built body and high-tech senses, a shark's methods for hunting are amazingly complex. But when a shark is hungry, it's this simple. If you're a fish, Bye-bye.
Okay, sharks are lean, keen killing machines in the water. But wait until you meet this next predator. It's a lizard that is so big and gross, you just can't stop looking at it. And wait until you get a load of one of its methods for killing, Slick-O-Rama. Watch. Deadly Droolers. Komodo Island looks like a tropical paradise until you meet its most deadly predator. The Komodo Dragon, a monitor lizard that averages nine feet in length, as long as some cars. You might guess that an animal this huge probably is not exactly delicate when stalking its prey. And you're right. The Komodo eats almost anything in sight, from turtle eggs to animals that weigh five times the Komodo's weight. And to catch that prey, Komodos use some notoriously nasty methods. First, they use their tongues for smelling. As if the Komodo is not creepy crawly enough, their slimy tongues hang out and move from side to side to pick up the scent of their prey. Cool, huh? And if you think that's gross, the Komodo rises to beyond gross by its drool. It's disgusting and deadly. One of the ways they kill is to bite an animal and wait until the saliva infects its victim. This water buffalo has been bitten and it can take up to two weeks to die an agonizing death. All the Komodo dragon has to do is wait. And wait. As soon as the buffalo is down, the Komodo starts ripping flesh. When you're the king of Komodo Island, you drool, you rule. Okay, here's how it goes. The Komodo poisons its victim, the victim goes down for the count, and the Komodo doesn't care if it's even dead. Food is food, survival is survival. So now comes the part where some of you might want to cover your eyes because this Komodo has been waiting and it's seriously hungry. I personally think it's cool to see nature in action, but if this is a little too much action for you, I've designed this. Dinner time. The ultra-large lizard, the Komodo dragon, has some pretty unique methods for catching its prey, as well as some pretty gross table manners, such as starting to devour this water buffalo before it's even dead. It's dinner time on Komodo Island, and you're invited. One dragon starts feasting, but since the water buffalo is so huge, it soon becomes a Komodo buffet. A smaller dragon wants some too, but it's cautious because in the feeding frenzy, it can become part of the meal. Yup, Komodos sometimes even eat their young. The Komodo dragon is a true carnivore. It only eats meat and tosses the plant materials from the water buffalo's stomach. No veggies for the Komodo. As dinner starts disappearing, cooperation becomes competition. Two males inflate their bodies so they look bigger and go for the takedown. The winner gets to clean the final scraps off the buffalo carcass. Ah, that should hold the Komodo for weeks or even months thanks to fat stored in its tail. Then hunger hits again. Out goes the tongue, down slithers the drool, and dinner, dead or alive, could be around the next corner. Well, after a narrow escape from sharks and Komodo dragons, you're finished with predators. Good job. <laughs>